What's up guys, Chris Gaming here and welcome back to the second episode of Pogba's Path to Power. First of all, I hope everyone had a good Christmas and got everything they wanted and Santa was just good to everybody. But, um, yeah, I, uh, just to start it off, I forgot to mention in the last episode, I put it in, I forgot to mention that I'd signed Rodrigo Palacio and Edison, the Brazilian uh, central attacking midfielder. But, yeah. But I'll put them in. I think in the last episode, um, Palacio's got a couple of goals. But straight away in this video, you can see I come up against a good. Well, it's practically a full PSG side. I think it's only his goalkeeper and one of his centre backs that's not PSG with Diego Alves, and I'm not quite sure who the other centre back is. But we started the game well. Um, we've been playing well in the first couple of games. We've, we've scored a lot of goals and won them both. And then this game, split defence open and Rodrigo Palacio's there. He's not going to miss, he's, he's too overpowered on this game for him to be missing chances like that. <coughs> but we just continue, we, we, we've been playing well and with such low chemistry and only a few good players, I was surprised at how well we have started. There we go, taking another uh, another goal there to make a two goal lead and it's it's all been comfortable for me. There have been no issues at all and then... Straight, uh, I, I was playing well all this game and then I thought that should have been a foul on Pogba and then he just runs through and I could have thought about taking Lovitzy down but it was a bit too quick and it wouldn't have been a really good idea to get a man sent off in the first half so I thought I'll sacrifice the goal and you can see with the half time stats I've absolutely mullered the kid and he's just gone and scored so going into the second half confident and we just continue to play who we're playing and then Pogba just pops up nice little bit of skill goes back inside and then puts it away with his left foot so yeah Pug was playing really well for me which is obviously what you want when he's the main player in the series I think that's like four or five goals for Pogba now so he's contributing really well to the team so we take three on advantage and then Palacio again he's only a little guy I think he's only like 5'10 or something and he pops up and scores an header so that's always nice to get Pogba with assist so I think that in in the three games he's played he's, Pogba's got like three or four goals maybe even more and like three assists and then you can quickly it starts out we're a bit rushed then or a bit silly should have slowed down but I think I had like 14 shots and 12 on target to his like three and 60% possession so really dominant and now um, a bad but good thing has come um, Manuel Neuer had to be replaced because his loan spell ran out with the three games but now we can actually go on to uh, buy in the players that we need to get the good chemistry so that's what we really need. So I went and picked up Handanovic because I've used him previously before this series on other accounts and stuff like that. And he's been a really good keeper in the past. So yeah, I think um, with picking him up, that's a, that's a good solid start. A nice high rated goalkeeper because like I said in, when I used Neuer, I, it's a big position for me. And then we go into the second game and... All I'm thinking is, it's poor chemistry and poor players, and I'm just looking at Zarate because I've used him myself and I've come against him a lot of times, and it proved no different this time. I absolutely got slaughtered by him. Started the game well again, Palacio getting another goal, so that's quite a few for him in the two episodes that we've played so far. But then Zarate just goes all messy on me. I don't know what happened there. My player would just clumsy and come across him and give away a pen, and he gives it to Zarate, and Zarate is not going to miss. See, I never like before. I we used to be really good at saving penalties, and now it just seems I just concede whatever. If they get a penalty, it's like a free goal. Then Zarate goes messy and slots it away. And I'll be honest, I I got a bit annoyed there because he's got such low chemistry, and he just ran through me. It poor defending by me. It was nothing. And then I got a penalty myself, and it just goes from bad to worse because, I, as you can see, I just crumbled. I've, it's in red. I just knew as soon as I hit that, it was going over and went into half. The kid fully deserved to be in front. I'm not denying that at all. I played terrible in the game. Surprising because in all the other games, I've been so confident. Going into this game, I was still confident. But then, like, Zorate, the, the one man team. I think you'll see in a second, like, Pogba gets one. So I think I'm coming back, so I get a bit more confidence and. Yeah, it's going well. I'm not cocky about it. I just continue playing the way I'm playing. And then I think that was one of his centre backs for like a 70 yard through ball. All right, takes it down and look at that for a finish. Near post. What what can you do? Well, we'll take that one on chin. That's first. I'd rather get a loss now than play say 20 games and then be on a super good run and then say so that that annoyed me because I won't want to lose at that point. Whereas 
just get it out of the way and then go again. So with that poor performance, I thought I've got a bit of coins. I'll go and pick up some centre backs, um, mainly because the ones I've got are terrible. They're both slow, and you could see from that game that I've just played, they were just walking through me. And yeah, it just I wanted some good chemistry from my goalkeeper, so he's on nine chem. So like that was his debut, and he conceded four goals. So it's not really what you want. So I went and picked up uh, Jesus. Uh, is it Juan Jesus his name is and uh, Philippe Mexas I eventually came to decide to and there's a lot of components that I take into account when I'm picking my centre backs so, well any position really I like good height and good pace which is like an ultimate team standard thing nowadays if you're going to buy a player you're going to buy a fast player and so I, I went with that so they're both over 6 foot good thing is uh, both got all around good pace defending and physical attributes and I went for half, sem well, semi decent passing. And just to solidif solidify it a bit more, I picked up uh, Seydou Kieta. I think that's his, I think Seydou is his first name. Um, but yeah, ex Barcelona. Um, hopefully, he'll be a good player for us, and we'll have to find out in the next couple of episodes. But I'm just going to chuck everybody in the positions now. Uh, you can see, getting rid of the bog standard centre backs, uh, get Juan Jesus and Mexis in, get. Um, say do get her in and get best possible chemistry but that's it for this episode guys and if you do like it please leave a like and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you next time thanks for watching goodbye